Look at this fella. Hmm? How's that for a resemblance? <laughs> Say hello to Gus Gutfeld. The king of late night has welcomed an adorable oh. French bulldog into his home this weekend. So welcome, Greg, to the Fives Dog Owners Club. It's great to have you. We, you know, a lot of us have dogs, not Jessica, not yet. She's going to get one. I got a little gift for Gus. There's a oh. little oh. Halloween bandana and a little Ooh, octopus. A little squid. And then this, for when he gets a little bit older, is a, his first unicorn soccer ball. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> nice. It's very strange. I haven't slept because all he does is we're crate training him. So all he does is scream in this demonic wail. It's a tiny little guy, but his, see, it's screaming. It's screaming. Look, Aww. I look like a mess. It's so cute. It's yeah. your new parent. Yeah, I have uh, noticed a change in you already. Look at that grin. <laughs> look at how warm that's, you look. That's Aww. the best picture. So cute. That is, that, by the way, those are not my legs, but we will talk about that. <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah, that's. Uh, you shaved. Yes, yeah, shaved. That's yeah, just sleeping there. He does that so you can't move. But uh, that is a very cute. Dog. The great thing I learned about dogs is like their poop doesn't really smell. Their pee doesn't smell. You know, I kind of forget about washing my hands after a while. <laughs> <laughs> it's still toxic. Do you have yes, any good advice for raising a puppy? I have good advice. So I don't know if you have a Roomba, Greg, but if you do, never turn it on with the puppy while you're out of the house. What happens? Because if the puppy has an accident, oh, it'll oh, your whole house no. will be oh. Roomba and it will smell. Did that happen that. to you? It may have happened. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. And Roomba won't give you a new one. They're like, yeah, it happens all the time. Wow. Jesse, you robots. have any advice? No, I have no advice. What did you, <laughs> why did you go with the French Bulldog? Because there is a resemblance. Well, that's the, way, that's the first thing my wife said when I sent the picture. She goes, he, he looks just like you. <laughs> but, you know, I, I, I tested out. Kat has a, a Kat Timpf. You know, that she's the blonde lady from the Gutfeld show? Yeah. <laughs> she, has, she and her husband got, uh, is the uncle. The Carl, their dog is my dog's uncle. Oh, okay. So, so he's the nephew. Different, uh, I think it's same father, different mom. I don't know. They're all sluts. <laughs> but I, these dogs, you know, they just sleep with everybody. I have some good advice. Yes, please. And I learned this from the monks of New York. They, they raise, they, there's this monks, and they raise German shepherds to be service dogs. They have in their book a tip that I've given to people that's very good. When he's a little bit older, you want to take him to a place that's a little unfamiliar, like a wooded area, like maybe up at the, at, at, you know where, upstate. Yes, yes. Unfamiliar and, for Greg, take him to a church. Yeah, well. <laughs> How dare you. And you want to take him off the leash and let him sort of sniff around and sort of forget about you, right? Mm. And then what you do, dive behind a tree. Uh, and you wait for a moment for him to get a little, like, nervous, uh -huh. like, looking for you. Then step behind, out and say, hi, I'm right here. Uh, and he will never take his eyes off of you, and it helps a lot. Ooh, That's interesting. Very good. Do you know, uh, other piece of advice, I remember this from Scott Adams, talking about how to deal with dogs barking. Mm -hmm. That they're not the same language as you. It's like if the, the, the best um, analogy to a dog or a puppy barking is when you're pressing a doorbell and nobody's home. <laughs> or you're pressing a button to get a candy bar out of the, of the yeah. vending machine. It's just, it's just, a, it's not as hard up for that. It's just pushing a button. That's what they're doing. They're trying to, they're like, that's so, that, now when I think about that, it doesn't bother me. It pushes me. my button when yeah, they yes. the I had to, I had to try to get Johnny to ask someone if they could have Rookie's voice box yes! removed. Yeah, you were just Jesse. Because it was oh driving me crazy. Jesse. I didn't know. Apparently that's considered a barbaric procedure. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, that is. I didn't know. Jessica, any advice of who's raising a baby? Um, no, they're they're different. Uh, <laughs> I had a dog when I was younger, but is it just amazing how much attention you're getting on the street? Because that dog, you yeah, probably no, can't I, even I get walked, down to the corner. Yeah, I walked down to some pet shop, and I had him in my little, uh, just a pocket, and everybody there yeah. was like, and it kind of, Jesse, you wouldn't be able to handle this because the fame goes away from you to this dog. Like, <laughs> It's like, it was like before people would stop me on the street, hug me, tell me I changed their life. But now it's just the little dog. When they pay attention to Rookie instead of me, I go, I'm Waters. <laughs> you know what it is? This when is I'm, my dog. When, when it's me and I'm alone, it's just fans from 65, 70-year-old ladies. <laughs> but when I got the dog, it's all the models. And they don't even see me. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.